Matthew and Skari here from MiniWarGaming.com. Today we have a battle report for you with the new Tyranids and out of the ash wastes, the Talarn have come out to play, well, the desert mainly. Good old school Astra Militarum action versus bugs. Let's begin. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Warhammer 40k battle report. I decided to bring out the Talarn. That's all right, all metal and pewter miniatures from like 30 plus years ago. Celebrating 40 years of Warhammer, why not bring out the awesome old school sculpts? Which is really cool. So it's really nice to put them on the table, combined with some of the newer kits, like a new Lehman Russ and things like that as well. The army itself is a detachment of the armored regimental column of the 350,000th Talarn Regiment. Now, of course, uh, it does have a platoon commander because it's just a simple platoon with armored support that is fighting today. I do have a reinforced or double squad of infantry with mortars. I have three more 10 strong infantry squads with accommodations of heavy bolters, auto cannons, plasma guns, and grenade launchers as well. In support of that, I have a heavy weapon team with three last cannons. I have two armored sentinels with rocket launchers and hunter killer missiles. I have a scout sentinel with a heavy flamer. And then for armored support, a chimera, a Lehman Russ eradicator, a Lehman Russ exterminator, which is fitting because I'm playing bugs, and a Lehman Russ vanquisher. The artillery support provided today by the letter B for basilisk. Six Bulgrim. Yes, big guys with shields. And with that, let's take a look at the Tyranids. Today I'll be trying out the Synaptic Nexus, which represents we're further along in our invasion and we're bringing to bear the Shadow and the Warp. The Synaptic Nexus is all about synapse creatures, as you might imagine. And so for my characters, I've got a Neuro Tyrant, which he's been upgraded to the power of the Hive Mind, which gives him plus one strength and AP to his, his psychic weapon. He's the only one that can really take that. Then we've also got a Mama Turbagon, and she is uh, so synaptically linked to everything that she's got synaptic control, which is just minus one damage. So she's going to be a tough Mama Jama to really be able to take care of. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about what she's leading later on. Then we move over to my other character, which is a winged Tyranid Prime. And he is the Dirge Heart of Cadiz. He's got an aura of nine inches of minus one leadership. This is a boogity boo list. Although I didn't quite lean into that heavily. I'll do that next time. And then, because I wanted to show off stuff that I had just painted, we've got a full unit of six Hive Guard with their shock cannons ready to blammo down any tanks that get in their way. And we've got an Exocrine who you can see I forgot to put his arms on. They're magnetized. I'll stick them on for the actual battle report, but uh, for the showcase here, he's missing his tiny little arms, which maybe you didn't notice because they're so tiny, but he'll be shooting down your medium infantry and helping with the tanks as well. And then we've got the Norn Emissary. It was fun painting this guy. He was a big model and he's all about psychic and he's synapse and he's awesome, but he's not a character, so I couldn't give him any enhancements, which is too bad. Then we've got a full group of six zone throats ready to do all their warp powers. We've got a big squad of 20 Termagants who will be hanging out with their Mama, Mama Turbagon so they can keep respawning. And then lastly, we've got a little group of 10 Gargoyles who will be joining the Tyranid Prime with wings so they can fly around grabbing objectives and maybe doing a little bit of damage here or there. And that is my 1500 points of Tyranids. Today, our primary mission is Vital Ground. Our deployment is Search and Destroy, good old table quarters, which means there will be plenty of action early on in the game. In this mission, the middle objective is removed and the objectives in no man's land and the ones in your opponent's deployment zone are worth more. So we have to fight for the middle and push into the vital ground deep within enemy territory. Our mission special rule is supply lines. Holding our home objective is vital to the war effort and will give us additional command points on a four plus at the start of our command phase. And we are ready for battle. Oh, this is gonna be really fun. Matthew's got me filming today. Come on, Matthew. What is this madness? Maybe I wanna be on camera sometimes. <laughs> what? Not and just a on voice. On your like channel? Yes. <laughs> Outrageous. I expect to see only your dice rolling hand. That's right. <laughs> That's all people know, right? My voice 
and this part of my body. That's <laughs> right. Weird. That's there it. you go. Uh, so the guard versus the Talarn, you've decided to bring one of the six detachments, a completely different one from the leather, uh, the last battle report. Well, I've got to play through all of them, right? So after this one, all I have left is the Unending Swarm, and then I will have done all six. Because the Invasion one I already did before, right? So that, that, that sounds that hasn't really, really cool. changed. I'm really excited to see what sort of crazy Shadow in the Warp shenanigans your psychic bugs going to get up to. It's, it's not fully kitted out for that. I, I, I would love to have brought the Death Leaper and the Neurolictor to mess with it as well. But I had just finished painting my Hive Guard and this magnetized Exocrine slash Hierospec, so it just it had to go into the list because that's, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm trying to paint more and uh, use the stuff that I paint. So I'm even thinking for the grand narrative that's coming up in November for that Games Workshop. I'm thinking of only bringing stuff that I painted, so that'll give me a bit more to work on. But yeah, other than that, yeah, we're ready to show you what the Shadow and the Warp feels like, and it's not a very comfortable feeling. Especially when I don't have a Leadership 5 Space Marine. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I am bringing the guard, of course. It's a Talarn regiment using all the old models. I'm so excited. I haven't played them in the first time playing them in 10th. But I'm really looking forward to facing down. So let's get this party on the road uh, with some dice rolls. I guess dice roll to see who goes first. Uh, you, I'm assuming you're playing tactical. You mean random? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Of course. Me too. Okay. And it is guard turn number one. So cool thing after the dice roll, you get to uh, move your scouts. Do you have any scouts? Nope. I just have a single I sentinel. I could have deep striked with the gargoyles and the shrike, <laughs> but... He's just gonna hide behind that rock. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Is that your only scout? That's my only scout. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> anyway, if I had more sentinels, or if I had rattling snipers, I would put the rattlings over here. You there know, you go. Whatever. The Talarn have been ordered to tempting target. That means to take one of the objectives in no man's land and to engage on all fronts, which means I try and spread out before the Tyranids get the opportunity to surround and destroy us. So th tempting th target. I think I'll choose this one over here. I think you can get to either of them no matter what, but the one over there would just be a throwaway of you just throwing your Sentinel out. That you yep. probably don't care about much. This one you'd have to commit something a bit more. I don't even know if I can get to it, to be honest. Well, how fast do the rest of it? Uh, like 10 inches. Well, you can probably move 10, and if you advance well enough, you sure. can grab it. I'm just saying that that's, it's a tempting target. It's got to be something that's I, not just I like, don't have the throw speed away of the Dark Venom signal. that could just go whip. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to choose this one. <laughs> yep. So if you want those uh, five points, you got to come for that. Okay, so my general plan, I think, is going to be to try and engage your Norn Queen. Um, Norn Emissary. Norn Emissary. Norn, you don't want the Norn Queen here. <laughs> that thing's much bigger. Yes, it is. I'm going to potentially get a nice charge up there, and then we'll see what we can kind of do. There's like lots of line of sight blocking terrain, which is good. We have lots of shooting. I do have a decent amount of anti, uh, anti out of line of sight shooting, but not as much as I could have. So it's all going to be a maneuvering turn and setting up for turn number two, basically, is what I feel it's going to be. So movement phase, a before shot so of the be entire army. Before you do that, I did forget yeah. one thing. Synaptic Nexus, it works a lot like the ninth edition ones uh, Tyrannus did, where at the beginning of each battle round, I can choose a certain thing to turn on. And I have three choices, and any models that are in synapse range get it. It's a five up and vulnerable save, uh, plus one advance and charge, and plus one to hit in close combat, specifically. Do you get, is it once per game each once one? Once per game each of them, and yeah. there's only three of them, which, you know, you It's kind of like the chapter tactics <clears throat> that you pick for a Space Marine Gladius. Yeah, so I should have done that be before you started, but that doesn't really matter. Um, I think for this first one, I'm, because right now, I, I think I did a little misstep. I put them a little too far away, because I got a four pin ball anyways. I think I'm not gonna do any of them, because uh, your firepower is gonna be limited, these guys hand out a six up invuln, and I don't really care about the plus one advance and charge quite yet. So I think I'm gonna save all, hey, no, no, I'm gonna turn on the plus one advance and charge because I just want the a little extra movement of advancing. So okay. plus one advance and charge, anybody who's in synapse, which is really gonna be my whole army all of the time, will have plus one advance and charge. Fantastic, this the synaptic nexus for this battle round has been enacted. Uh, time to move some guardsmen. Well, before that happens, though, before that happens, there's a couple of things left. Yeah, I forgot about a thing. The <laughs> Norn Emissary at the beginning of the game is supposed to choose, once we know who's going first and all that, either an objective that I have to protect, and I get objective control 15 and feel no pain 5 plus next to it, or an enemy unit, and I get um, reroll hits and wounds. So it's a singular purpose. In this case, looking at what is about to happen, 
I think I want to kill those Ogrins or Bulgrins. Oh, reroll hits and wounds. <clears throat> reroll hits and wounds. Now, normally I choose the objective. I think that's the better one almost every time, but I, I really want to kill those Bulgrins. <laughs> So. <laughs> well, you've oath of momented my bull grin. Yes, just with the Nor Nemesis. <laughs> that's right. Now I promise that's everything. Awesome. So you can do your turn now. In my command phase, I will order take aim. So I do have a Master Vox caster in the platoon. So I will be giving uh, the, sca the armored sentinels plus one ballistic skill, which will be really useful there. Uh, then because I control my home objective, I will get a um, command point on a four plus. I do, giving me two command points to start the game. I had a lot of models to move, so there you have it. After the movement phase, I decided to remain stationary with the last cannons, the big blob with my platoon commander, most of my Lehman Russes. Actually, this one's just gonna move up a little bit because he doesn't really need too much. Although the anti-vehicle two plus crazy harpoon things that you have are really Shock scary. cannons. The shock cannons, they're shocking. They're all, they're all EMP'd. Good. Um, the Bulgrin are moving up the board to try and make that charge. I decided to hide my Scout Sentinel because the Hive Guard Overwatch on fives. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy, actually. Um, then we've got the Armor Sentinel staying put. I've got the Basilisk staying put. And then the biggest thing was on my left flank where this Lehman Russ Eradicator rolled a six to advance to get himself onto that objective for the tempting target, which was excellent. He just armored might. That's what Talarn do. They do mechanized combat very, very well. And then uh, Chimera moved up close by with an infantry squad in tow. So with that, let's get into the shooting phase. Um, but yeah. Our first shot will be from the last cannons that seeing the threat posed by the Norn emissary will fire their weapons into the big beast. I'm going to spend a command point, my only command point, on Reinforced Hive Node. This is a specific stratagem to the Synaptic Nexus. The Norn Emissary, because he's a Synapse creature, can do it. You targeted him. I'm now going to, for the rest of the shooting phase, worsen the armor penetration of all of your weapons by one against him. And because he's in cover, because of the trees, that essentially means even against last cannons, he's getting a three up save. That's really powerful. Now I get three last cannon shots. They are heavy, so they're hitting on fives normally, but now they will hit on fours. I get one lethal hit. Don't even have to roll to wound. Well, <laughs> so go straight to saves. Three up. Uh, it's cocked. I'll do that one again. Ha! Yeah, it didn't matter. D6 <laughs> damage. D6 plus two, one or two. So Ow. five plus a, plus one, I think. I like With an initial volley, six damage. Down Take a ten. chunk off of that Norn Queen. Does that one heal at all? Nope. No? Okay. I have no way to heal it. So you, you're getting it. Okay. Let's see what else we can do here. Because I've got some... They advanced so they can't do anything. This moved. It only has one target. So let's do the Lehman Russ Exterminator. There is a bug to kill. Call the Exterminators. Well, let's see the, what this exterminator can do. It's only AP one though, so it's going to be AP zero. Uh, you're uh, gonna that get won't your, matter in this case because they had cover anyway. You have two up saves. So I'm a two up save. Yeah, yeah. So that doesn't matter anyway. So the exterminator gets um, eight shots when it is rapid firing, which it is. It hits. It hits on fours though. That is uh, no lethal hits because it did move. And it is strength nine, so fives. One at AP one. It is a. Uh, no, Saved. Three damage if it goes through, but nothing. It right didn't. There. And three heavy bolters. That would be two sustained. Uh, oh, and then of course four wound rolls. What am I doing there? Nothing. And I'm gonna use my hunter killer missile here. Needing a four. It hits. Ooh, this one's strength 14 though. That's a three. Oh, oh no. no! One shot weapon. How dare you! <laughs> then we have the armored sentinels. They're gonna try and put a dent on the. Norn Emissary. So because they stayed stationary with their heavy crack rockets, uh, they get uh, plus one to hit, so they'd hit on threes, but then their ballistic skill is three, so they're hitting on twos. Awesome, so two crack rockets hitting on twos. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Why? Because you talked about it. I did, I explained it. I did all this explaining, and then they missed. Oh, Do you silly. know what's funny? 
I, I know it's just uh, it's just confirmation bias, but in my head, I was like, he's gonna roll double one. And he did, and I felt psychic. <laughs> You're playing a psychic bug army. Stop. I am. Get out of my head, yeah, man. I know, right? I controlled it. I did okay. a, an Obi Wan. I'm right, going man. to use both of my hunter killer missiles. They are not heavy, so, so they on only threes. get the, they only hit on threes. Okay, so I did hit once, and it's lethal. And it's lethal. It's automatically stupid. wounds. This is AP three. So three up save. So it's a cover and reworsing the AP. It by does one. matter. Oh, come on! Well, I'll take that. How much damage? D6. Ah, for oh, one, good. and that's where my first command point becomes re-rolled. No! Don't re-roll! Yes! What a garbage We're command point. Always, uh, damage is like the best one to re-roll. No! Or charge it. I use it for charge. Yeah. Haha! -ha. Four. Yeah, you just quadrupled. I did. That All is, right. uh, so I'm down to one command down point to six, now. Down to six wounds. Maybe the Bulgrin will be able to do it. And of course, when you need to vanquish a foe, you call on the Leem, Lehman Russ Vanquisher with his one-shot mega cannon. Oh, that, that's definitely going to do something. That never fails, of course. One shot never fails. Uh, vanquisher battle cannon, it is heavy, hitting on fours normally, so threes to hit. It hit oh, it hit. It's strength 18. That's still threes. Threes to wound. <gasps> that is a wound. No dev wounds or anything. It is AP4 and it's 6 plus D6 damage. Okay, if it so goes it's through. AP3 and I got cover. So it doesn't matter. I have, my four, four up. I have my 4 up in bone right. or 4 up save. And I don't have a way to reroll this. No, so you don't. He's dead. Big if, if money. It, oh, oh, I'm alive. Oh, you uh, lived. Uh, <laughs> well, I do have a last cannon as well. Here. Sure, that could actually do it. Yeah, so it, it misses. misses though. Ah, <laughs> oh, boo, boo. Oh, hunter killer. I have a hunter killer as well. Why not? That thing. Use them all, they all have one, a right? hunter killer. Yes. It hits. It wounds. See, oh, because of sad. the worst in the AP. Yeah, that was a great strategy. That, 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 right that, there. that saved me. It didn't do as well it as I hoped, but it saved me. That's not bad. My Basilisk will open fire, the Hunter Killer Missile will go into the Norn Emissary, and the Earthshaker Cannon will go into the Hive Guard. Hunter Killer Missile into the Norn Emissary, hitting on fours. Oh, thank Missed. goodness. It... <laughs> you gotta earn that kill. <laughs> He's do. dead, but you gotta earn I, it. I, you're making me work for it, Matthew. <laughs> D6 plus three, and then blast. So, against... plus, so plus four then? So, yep, yeah, so that would be seven in total. So fours, minus one, plus one, so fours. So fours. And six is auto wound. Ooh, Not fancy, bad. fancy. Strength eight. So threes to wounds, toughness seven. So that'd be three saves. Any eight. So AP two, but you are out of line of sight, so you get the so benefits of cover. Four up then. Yep. One and it is through. two damage. Okay. Now because you were hit, that unit is now minus two move. Advance and charge. Ooh, you pinned him. I did. I earth shakered that. I like that. Now we have the drill sergeant platoon commander. Let's call him Jim. And uh, he's going to order his mortars to fire on these coordinates as they've been spotted by the Lehman Russ moving around the flank. There are gargoyles in the mist. This is the coordinates. Open fire. Liberal use of ammunition. Three mortars, so that's 3d6, but you are plus two to each of these. Yeah, so, so 3d6, 3D6 plus, six. plus six. Okay, oh, so that'd bad. be nine plus six is 15. Now, because of my drill sergeant enhancement, I will lethal on fives, because I do criticals on fives, but I am hitting on fives as so well. So just looking for fives. Looking for fives to do some damage here. So that's two so far. And... Only oh. three. Okay. Next, next volley. They're just ranging in right now. <laughs> AP nothing. AP zero. Uh, one saved. Nice. Two of them die. Two die. Eight more to go. And last but not least, I have one infantry squad firing into the hive guard. I have a heavy bolter and a grenade launcher and a couple of las guns. Heavy bolter. Fives to hit. Nothing. Grenade launcher. Crack rocket. Grenade. Nope. Six little las guns. Oh, <gasps> they hit. But no auto wounds because they moved. <gasps> One save. No three up AP. save. Or two up. I guess. No, you can't improve with three Correct. Up. It's fine. It's Bounces fine. off. And with that, it is the end of my shooting phase. The guard have opened fire. It's the first volley of the game. Did some decent damage into the Norn Emissary. And now it is time to send in the Bulgrin. This is a seven inch charge. I need to roll a seven. Bring it. He, that's who he wants to kill anyways. <laughs> that is very true. That's a win-win for me. Yeah. 
Oh, oh no. No. You okay. do have another command point. I totally am using it for oh, this. Cause so well, boring, but I get it. I'd use it on charges. So. Yeah, they're like, come on, boys. Let's go. Yay. Hooray. Good fight. Woo. Good job, Bulgrin. Good job, Bulgrin. But that did Re use. Ready to uh, pile in? Uh, ready to pile in. Matthew's piling in for me. We know what you want to do. You're close enough to be able to get to the hive guard if you kill the emissary. Well, he's going to just sidestep through here and hopefully get within an inch if possible. Uh, three inches. Well, he would have been able to get up to there. No, he can't get to the hive guard okay, yet. Okay, so with the consolidate. So then. you'll need to. Perfect. And he didn't, but he didn't touch. So consolidate, yeah, he'll be yeah, able yeah. to go over there. So and you have a stratagem to full back and shoot. But so that'll still eat up a command point. Correct, which is what I'm hoping to at least try and do here. Look at this, I'm getting help to put all of my Bulgrin attacks in. The, look at the pile of dice here. Oh. Here you go. <laughs> Hooray! Okay, hitting on threes, wounding on fives. Do it! Go, go, Bob. Ah, good start. And needing fives. Yeah, you only need three of them to kill me. Well, you I need, need more than three need, to kill yeah, me, yeah. but minimum three. Okay, well, that's not going to happen. Uh oh. With that's only two, two. only. <laughs> oh, well. Good old Bulgrins. They tried their best. <laughs> three up save. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah, I, I he's won't. like, I was born for that. <laughs> <laughs> As he now goes to chop into them. Uh, well, I'm gonna pile into your hive guard. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That one dude can. He, we already measured. He can stay barely within two inches of that guy. Yeah. Just need to get. Well, because they're six inch. you, so you Correct. need to. Yep. You need two of them. No, no. On six, it's still one. Was well, it more than six? Now? Yeah, it is more than six and tenth. I knew that. <laughs> That's okay. why these guys are not too triangular. There you go. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we learn things every day here well, at Mini War Gaming. The Norn emissary, you couldn't have, like, he's all of the pleasure centers of his brains have been activated. He's like, this is what I was born for. He should have a rule that once he finishes whatever he's born for, he should, like, die or something. This is like, he just, like, melts in the goose. Kind of like, like Mr. Meeseeks? Yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does he say? Uh, just, Hi, Mr. Uh, Meeseeks! <laughs> like I can't remember the first. All right, anyways, I'll get my attacks. Which uh, four, one are you I, I don't know, because whatever I choose, it doesn't matter because you got three wound guys and four wound guys. I do. And I got three damage weapons and two damage weapons. So whichever yep. one I choose, you're going to use it on the other one. One right? has four attacks, one has six attacks. Yeah, so I'll just start, I'll just do the old doom in order. So the monstrous scything talons, six attacks hitting on twos. Because you didn't bracket him, yep. because you are oath a momented. Yep. He was born for the singular purpose. We'll re-roll. So they of all killing hit. that one unit. That's right. There's nothing special about crits here. We're looking at strength nine and toughness what? T five. T five. Okay, we're looking at threes to wound. And re-rolling because you re-roll that too. There we are. They all wound and up these minus. Are how much damage? Three damage minus two wound or minus two AP. Each. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the uh, two slab shields, uh, the brute seals, which are the four up involves. So, four of invuls. I have two of them. Okay, one takes a wound. Two wounds, because these are three yes. damage each. So, one goes down. Okay, so he's gonna go down, and then the sergeant will take the next one. Three more, so on the sergeant. Ooh, he passes both. And passes three. Oh, fine. Nicely done. Well, so, twos to hit, re-rolling with the monstrous rending claws. These are extra attacks. Mm -hmm. Threes to wound, re-rolling. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, good thing. Yeah, I started to think that he was not really bred to kill these guys because they're all minus one damage. Minus two, now two damage down to one. So minus two, so four ups down that's to it. one damage, so he takes one so, wound. Wow, that's it, eh? Has two remaining. Jeez. Oh, the Bulgrin hold okay. the line. Good I guess job, we're doing Bulgrin. this forever. <laughs> he has two wounds remaining. Oh, but you, he's you took off the hive guard. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the noise they make? I, yeah, they do now. So four of them will get to attack. <laughs> <laughs> and the other ones will just watch. Uh, I love Bulgrin. They're like, so they're just they're do tanky. Their, they just do their job. They just sit there and gonna die, but at least I hope it holds you up long enough to have an impact. We got fours to hit with their little arms. Strength five, so two wounds, no AP. Okay, four ups. Oh, you take it from them. <laughs> what is that? Does he die? Yeah, he does. What? He just died. <laughs> He's like, why did you do that? And they're like, what? They, he was busy defending against this massive Norn thing, and the little hive guard stabbed him while he wasn't looking. Yeah, just with the end of the gun, too. It was just like a really ignominious death. Of blah, blah. He's like, what the heck? How did that get through? Uh, well, with that, you know what, Bulgrin? They are all going to get commended for post-service uh, post medals. <laughs> yes. They're all going to get eaten dead. Yeah. Uh, but with that, it's the end of the first turn.
So as for scoring, I do hold, or I'm within three, uh, three different table quarters. So I will be getting uh, three points for engaging all fronts and five points because I successfully got my tempting target. And with that, with a bit of a lead, the guard get ready to brace against the Tyranid Onslaught. I drew a tempting target as well, which, yeah, I, well, yeah it's gonna be hard now that I look at it. And also cleanse, which is kill something on an objective. So, no, that's not cleanse. No, cleanse is the uh, doing the actions on objectives in no man's land. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I got. I will make that the tempting target. No way! <laughs> what a surprise! How the tables have turned! How the turntables. On a four plus, I get a command point because I'm on my home objective. Come on! Ha -ha. I, I want to show off my stratagems! My, uh, my Valkyrie fleet of Valkyries with the officer of the fleet have uh, disrupted your supply lines. Well, the Neuro Tyrant in the command phase can choose two units with an 18 to count as in synapse for the rest of the, until my next command phase. So I'll choose the Exocrine and the Hive Guard because I, I might lose my forward synapse. So everybody else is going to be well taken care of. And I don't have any battle sh Oh wait, I do have a battle shock to do. I'm a big guy because he's below half strength. So I don't know what his leadership is, but I'm assuming that it's at least that. So we're good. <laughs> good old. It's probably a seven plus. Uh, one, but good old synapse. Synapse lets me do it's it. Three. So good. That's right. And uh, I don't have to bring it back any termagants. So that is all of my command phase stuff. I'm going to be advancing my termagants. I got plus one advance and charge right now, remember. So they're going to move a healthy 11 inches. And we're going to go and nab an objective so that we can do our primaries as well. Big mama gone is uh, gonna camp next to them as well. Now the, the real thing is on the other side over here with the gargoyles and the shrike because they could actually go for that tempting target. Um, maybe, I didn't actually measure yet, but we're looking at just under 22 inches away. They moved 12, so that's 10 inches. Now they, uh, they could get it with a six because I got plus one advance right now. So you did it with a six. Yeah, so but I think I'm it's only a fair. trained defender of the Imperium. Well, the zone thropes give me Zonethrope dice. <laughs> it's much like the Eldar ones, except they're just sixes on all sides. Stop confusing the audience, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll in advance on them anyways, because their weapons are assault, so there's no disadvantage to doing this. And I roll a four, which is good, but not good enough. They oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I'm going to get it. They get to move six inches after, after they, shoot. they shoot. Do they have assault weapons? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sad. Yeah, so it's sad. mine. It's mine. No. 17 inches. <laughs> yeah, they do. There they are, swarming forward. The Hive Guard are going to back up slightly. I'm going to use my one command point to issue the stratagem that I don't remember the name of. But uh, I know they're minus two move, but they don't have to go very far. They're just barely leaving it. So the stratagem basically, as long as they're in synapse, which obviously they are, allows them to shoot and charge when they oh, fall back. So I'm just fancy. putting them just in range of your lemon gelato thingy over there. What's the range on your guns? 24 inches. Cool. So I'm going to just finagle them. To stay just out of engagement range and in range of the guns. I don't know if all of them will be able to see. I'll check that after. The zone throats are going to start to make their way up the field because they are devastatingly powerful and I want to bring all their psychic wonderfulness to bear. Yeah, they're gonna unfortunately get melted. Not the best target for them, but that's a target. Neuro Tyrants is going to camp the objective. I got the Exocrine on it, but just in case you manage to somehow fire across the table and kill it, I've got a secondary thing to grab me my primary points. I think that's all my movement. I'm ready for some shooting. You don't have any reserves either. No, everything, everything's on the table. Do you have reserves? No. Okay. No Scions, no yeah, like... Yeah, just, just what's on the just... table except what's in the vehicle. That's right. Well, oh, well, I, I could have reserves once you kill units. and I Yeah, can you bring, can bring them back. I can res basically... But you don't have enough command points right now not to Not at the moment, I do not. So... The, neuro, the Norn Emissary looks at them and you see his brain glow as he lashes out with a Psychic Tendril. And we're going to use the Melta profile, hitting on twos. Well, threes because of minus one. Who cares? They're all the sixes. <laughs> nice. All right. These are strength 12. So twos to wound. Rerolling. Who needs these rerolls? These are minus three D6 plus two damage. Well, they go straight through. Oh, okay. So two of them just die? Oh, they got minus one damage. They do. Oh, golly. How many wounds are they each? Three. <sighs> So oh no, four. No, no. Yeah, I one killed dead. one. No, no, I didn't one kill lives. the other one. 
<laughs> one takes. Is it D six plus two? It's D six plus two minus one. Okay, so, so that would be two, two damage. damage on one, and, and one just gets no yeah, just slagged. Kill the one that's closest to the hive guard, and then one will take a wound. Oh, two wounds. And of course, I'll just put a wound on one of these guys over here. Blah. Yeah, there you go. So the execrant. Yep. He's able to fire through these trees at your Lehman Russ, because I want to target him, because whatever he hits, I can, not whatever he hits, one thing that he hits, I can reroll ones to hit against it for everybody else. I so. will be using Armored Might. I use my command point to make my Lehman Russ minus one damage. Okay. D6 plus three shots, and that's till the end of the phase that you get the minus yes. one? Ooh, that's going to be helpful. It's really going to, I <laughs> hope it helps against your Hive Guard, because I'm going to be rolling lots of saves against the Hive Guard, because they're our anti-vehicle two. That's true. I get five shots. Yep. They'll hit on twos because I stood still. It was heavy. Well, four. See, you can roll once, too. That's right. A strength eight, so I'm assuming five's the wound? Uh, yes. You're not like toughness no. eight or seven or something? I'm, no, I'm not. Uh, You're not more toughness than, 16. I'm toughness like 10. Yeah. But, no, no, not 16. Okay, good. Five's the wound. I wounded you. Minus uh, three, but you got cover. Okay, so one up. So four. Four. Ah, he so takes three down to two damage. Two damage. And now he is... So 11 remaining from the Eradicator. And now the Hive Guard will fire at him. And uh, they're going to be threes to hit. They're not heavy. Rerolling one. So I just rolled a two. And these are anti-vehicle two plus. Yeah, gross. Yeah, but they're only minus one AP, so you'll have your two up saves. Yeah, but so. force me to roll a million dice. I'm gonna, I'll roll some ones. Maybe. There's nine of them. Yep. Okay, good thing I made it minus one damage in case, uh, you know. You'll be fine. Happens. Oh, okay. Two to get through, so four damage instead four. of six. That's not bad. Seven wounds remaining on my Eradicator. We're going to take some pot shots at it because after they shoot, they can move six inches. Mm -hmm. They're not allowed to charge if they do that, but I advance anyway, so they wouldn't be able to. So firing with eight gargoyles into your tank. So they're going to be hitting on fours, but he gives them sustained hits, which doesn't matter. I got Maybe it will. One wound. Two up save. Oh, hooray. All right, and then they get to move six inches, which Let me just use. check my OC. Yeah, this is definitely my objective. And look, I went on top of the objective, Scary. <gasps> yeah. That's not legal. It's against the rules. We, ignore, we ignore that rule, and so does Games Workshop. <laughs> Why they, did they put it in their book? Uh, well, I, there's, there's actually a reason to that, but that's okay. We won't go into that. <laughs> well, then, fine. Anything else? Oh, yeah, zone throws. Oh, we're not done. All right, six stone throws. This this feels like I'm punching down. <laughs> They're gonna all fire into this little group right here. Yep. And we're gonna use their blast, obviously. Oh, nope. nope. poor guardsmen. Yep. They See you are later. So dead. <laughs> So they're going to be 6d3 plus 12 shots. All ones, please. Because they're blasts. Doesn't matter, I got the plus 12. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So many. Threes to hit. Oh no, some of them miss, Gary. There's so oh, many. No, so if you miss. roll terrible to wound them. I, it's twos to wound, and you have if no save. If you roll. You can't. If one no, of them no. survives. No, it doesn't work like that, Gary. You're all dead. <laughs> I'd have to roll so many ones. You know what? You know, I, I, dropped I believe in I believe in luck. No, they're dead. Lady, lady luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look, you didn't kill him. No, I'm just kidding. 10, 11, 12, 30, yeah, 40, no, 50. No. <laughs> Sad tune. F in chat. If this was if, if this was animated, it'd just be like da, 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 da. Just they just explode. all just died. They're, they Pieces clutched the their away. heads and just fell down dead. Well, after that psionic blast, we're gonna go. We're gonna. Tone it down a little bit. Just fire a million little flesh borers at you. So they're all, everybody that can will fire at your sentinel. I love it. They are assault weapons, so I can advance and fire them. Four is to hit. Uh, Looking got, for lethals, though. got three lethals. That's not bad. Five is to wound. Oh, there's two more. We got five in total. No AP. Three up saves. Oh, all right. Plunked a couple off. <laughs> are you aiming for the hole? <laughs> I, tried, I tried so hard not to hit the hole. Two wounds, five left. And then we'll do the stinger salvos. Eight shots hitting on threes. No lethal on these. So he just gives it to the term against. He doesn't figure out how to do it himself. And fives to wounds. Two wounds, no AP, one damage. Oh my goodness, Scary. What are you doing? What are you doing? That, my, my good friend, is a... Uh, Called failing a save. I, I, I noticed. <laughs> With style. How many, if somebody could tally up how many snake eyes I've rolled this game. So far, I think I've done three. Three sets of snake eyes. What are the odds of that happening? 
Let's, let's, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me that question. <laughs> okay, so that's all my shooting. Yep. So we're going to combat. There's no charging for me. I could charge the hive guard in, but <laughs> although they do seem to kick your butt, um, but uh, part of me wants to. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna get the strike first. I got six wounds left. I should survive it. I should survive it, right? Famous last words. Now I'm not charging the hive guard because then they'll get tied up. Actually, and the the if you charge the hive guard, it's not the killing this or surviving. It's the fact that the hive guard are now visible. To right, my whole but that body. also means I can Overwatch. Correct, but I wouldn't move. I just sit. <laughs> You'd be like, ah, you. nobody move. Yeah, the, it's the reason I. <laughs> They're like T Rexes. Him. It's the reason I killed him. So if you charge, you have to come into line of sight. No, you're and then right, I've you're got right. like all my Russes that can see you, and like so it just makes it a lot easier for me to deal with the Hive Guard if no, you no. charge. No, you're right. So I, that is the dilemma I've given you. I'm not going to charge. So which means your three dudes get to try to finish off my Norn emissary. I will try. Well, I have half the amount of Bulgrin. Which means so you'll do better. I know. That's, that's, how, that's it works. how it works. That's every how time. it works. Hitting on threes. Oh! <laughs> Good start. No. Yes. It's, it's fives to moon, though. You can't do pretty you well. You killed well. Sergeant. No. <laughs> oh, he's, he shouldn't die. <laughs> shouldn't is do you, the keyword. Wait, do you have any command points, Matthew? No, I do not. Excellent. I got three up saves. If yes. I fail all three, I'm dead. Yeah, come on, Bulgrin. If I fail any of them, I'm 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 bracketed. Ha! Oh, oh no! He just tanks it. He just tanks it. <laughs> you get to fight my Bulgrin. Well, back. I'm gonna do the damage three weapon first because you got somebody sitting there on two wounds. Yep. You're not gonna shenanigan your way out of this one, good N sir. Nope. <laughs> so we're gonna start. We're gonna spike you with the the scything talons. We're just gonna right down in his head. In a very grotesque manner that would not make this PG, but we're not going to show it. <laughs> this, they please, all uh, please skip the cinematic yeah. if you have children <laughs> yeah. in the room. Yeah. If you did not check the box, do not show gore. <laughs> you will not be able to sleep tonight. Threes to wound. Rerolling, because this is what he was born for, apparently. I think the Tyranids need to learn what the Bulgrin can do and send somebody better. Oh, ah! yay! Yeah. Are they AP3? They're minus two. Minus two. Oh, so I get six ups? You nice. get one at a time. Oh, I guess six they're all the same. Ups. No. Oh, okay. So you kill the one on two wounds, and then, then you kill one more. That's all right. That's all right. You got one left. I do. I'm gonna take my running claws, and I'm gonna pick them up, and I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna give him a hug. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to tyranid Norn emissary hug. You feel really good after. No. <laughs> it's not. Sweet, sweet oblivion. <laughs> Use to hit rerolling. Yep. Ah, yes. No. Yes. Everyone matters. He, he's only he's gonna live now. Has he got four wounds? Yeah. Oh, he can't. I can't kill him. <laughs> Threes to wound. Rerolling. What's the AP on these? Uh, same minus two. So six up saves. Normally two damage, but only one against. Ha ha! You, you got have, two wounds left. I do. Excellent. Yeah. Then I'm gonna battle shock you, and then I'm gonna do mortal wounds against you. It's all good. Ah, oh, sad. So two of them do go down. One, two. Ah. And well, I'm protected at least. Now you can shoot at the box. That's right now. I can. Yeah, one uh, dead. Okay, and that is the Tyranid's first turn. So I got the tempting target because I've got more objective control on it. I did not cleanse anything, and I am going to throw that away for a blessed, blessed command point because I want those more than I want to win. So you'll start the turn with uh, two of them, and I will also. Oh no, I will uh, start the turn with one of them, and then probably get another one potentially. So, first things first, I get a command point, and do I get a supply line? I do. Oh, son of a... Good job. <laughs> so, battle shocks. Uh, sorry, well, uh, I get my, get my cards first. I have been ordered to bring it down to try kill the big monsters. It's very simply going to be kill the Norn Emissary, I think, is you what try. it's going to be. You can try. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to try. try. And then investigate signals. There are beep boops that we need to figure out what the, the beep boop is going on. It was twig in snapping. The corners Thank you very of much. the battlefield. <laughs> We hear hushed, hushed conversations. The Death Leaper's been watching the whole time. Uh oh, I'm now <laughs> Which terrified. Is okay, leadership seven, and he is minus one. Yeah, because I have the Dirge Heart nice. upgrade. Leadership seven. Uh, oh, he's battle shocked. Oh, okay, yeah. hold on a second. No, yes, I, I, I have a stratagem that I can do a bunch of mortal wounds on him, mm -hmm. but I kind of want to do it on your little stupid Bulgrin. <laughs> But I don't because he's making it so it's minus one to hit my guy. So let's do it here. Let's do it here. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna try to cripple your Leaning one Rust. CP. This is called yeah, it's just one. It's called well yeah, I have to fail a battle shock and you have to be within twelve inches of a synapse. Oh, okay. which I am. This whole he's thing synapse. is synapse, dude, because Ooh, he gives it to the cool. gargoyles. But uh, this so this basically works like the following: the grenade, but with three pluses. Nice. Six dice. 
I take five it. mortal five. wounds. Woo. Woo -hoo. Woo. I almost got him. That I couldn't have killed left. him. Oh my goodness. That's gracious. awesome. That's pretty good. Smothering. It's called the smothering shadow. Well, there's definitely, they're inside of their tank, terrified yeah. right now. <laughs> They've heard the story. <laughs> you, hear the you hear the tinkling. <laughs> uh, then the bulgur. Uh He will fail as well. Yeah, he's actually, well, I don't know if he's with the minus one, but he fell on five He'll fail. He's not leadership five, I'll tell yeah. you that right now. I got nothing for that. Cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is he within 12 into the, the range of the zone throws thing? He could be, because they have Maybe. a cool rule for that too, don't yeah. they? Yeah. It's only six, it's inches, six for inches. Yeah, okay, you so fell battle, battle shocked. Yeah, that's okay. No. Um, and that is it for battle shock. I think. So with that, he, how's your sentinel? Does he need to check? Uh, oh yeah, I'll roll for him. He's okay with an eight. All right. So okay. I think this turn, I'd like to shadow on the warp. Yeah. Okay. Because as much as I'd like to keep doing that, I feel like the more I can just weaken you this turn, which you're going to be like, oh, and I'm turning on. Uh, I got my battle round thing. I could turn on a different thing. Mm -hmm. Like, do I turn on a five-up involve army-wide when I already have four-up, four-up, and six-up everywhere around that? And these guys don't have it, but they're not going to be really your target. Yeah, you, yeah. We're going to go for maximum protection here. So now there's army-wide, five-up involve. Everybody's in synapse, which everybody I love is. It. And if, if their involves up better. And I'm going to shout on the warp you right now, so your whole army has to take battle shock tests That's again. Right. So he's about... already battle shocked. He's already battle yeah. shocked. Technically, they have to take it again, but there's no ill effect. Yeah. Uh, Chimera? And minus one. Uh, he's minus fine. two for him. He's fine. Oh, he's fine. Whatever. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't care about that one. <laughs> the command squad. Ooh. They are battle shocked. This unit, uh, not battle shocked. It's minus one, so are they seven, seven plus? Okay. I'll check, but I'm pretty sure they are. Okay. That's two eights that I've rolled there. Gotta the check. Basilisk. The Yip will be battle shocked. The Exterminator. Battle shocked. Ooh. The Battle shocked. <laughs> Battle shot. No, no, nope, not no, battle no, shot. And, and then again more. on the Sentinel. Not battle shot. Okay. So just check if they need eights or sevens. So order the way orders happen is you do orders, then I would do all the battle shock stuff. Yeah. So, so they would have given them plus one ballistic skill first. They did pass their battle shock. He failed subsequently, but that doesn't matter for them. But I do have a lot of battle shock happening. The guard are terrified, and I have no commissars to summarily execute folks. <laughs> To get them unbattle shocked. <laughs> I don't know who that's better for. <laughs> it's just one guy. I can just pick a dude, pow, and yeah. then and then they pass their battle shock. Okay, let's see if it actually matters. How many times are you going to be wanting to use stratagems, right? Yeah, so. it'll definitely matter. Like it'll matter. So and mm -hmm. I and you can't use insane bravery for Not the, for the shadow warp. warp, which is nuts. I really like it as well. So with that, let's go into the moving phase. I've got tons of stuff to move, so we'll kind of show it as it goes. I'm going to stay, most of my stuff will remain stationary to take advantage of the heavy weapons. But I'm going to try to get some points. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this Bulgrin knows when to pull the plug and uh, he's going to try fall back here. Well, one or a two he dies though because it's desperate. That's right, he's desperately... Ah, he didn't okay. die. Okay, getting away. So what am I going to do with him? He's just going to go this way six inches. Basically not getting minus one to shoot the heck yep. out of my Nornam. Just going to hide back here. But he's so sad, he had one purpose. <laughs> <laughs> you could have I will died. deny you of your You could purpose. have at least died on your way back. No. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. No, no. You no. gotta overwatch him? Yeah. With whom? Well, I should with the hive guard because <laughs> they get to overwatch in fives. Yes. But I feel that he's got to do it. I am overwatching him. This is. I get to re-roll, all right? I get to re-roll, so I need sixes <laughs> re-rolling. This, by the way, is what we call a narrative impulse, okay? <laughs> I have to <laughs> do it. <laughs> hey, no, I want to deny your, your freaking Norn thing. No, I have better. I want to deny his purpose in life, no. which is to kill the Bulgrin. They're too bad. <laughs> so he's got, I'm gonna, I think my best bet is to do the, because he's toughness five, right? Yeah. I'm going to do the blast, because okay. I get 2d6 shots. Mm, snake ass. Yeah, they're perfectly average. average. How do you like that? I don't like them apples. It's okay. I still need sixes. Yep. But I get to reroll. Mm -hmm. I get to reroll. I need two of them because these are damage one. Yep. So sixes to hit. <laughs> this is so dumb. No, come on. Give me a few more. <laughs> I need two more at least. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yes. No. Yes. Yes. Don't. Yes. <laughs> this is my purpose. <laughs> then I can die. <laughs> Threes to wound. Okay, what's the AP on these? Minus two. Oh you no! Get a six up save against them. I do, I do. Oh no! Yes, no. yes. Oh, we're wrong. Fail! Yes! No! no. <laughs> and now to put salt in the wound. No. A six, six up, up save. save. 
Oh, oh how did I not kill you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ha, take that, you silly monster. Let's take a look at the rest of the movement. Now you're just not going to kill him. He's oh, charge I would him. hate that so <laughs> much right now. So this Lehman Russ stayed still because he didn't want to get overwatched by Hiveguard. Uh, this moved up and they got out of the Chimera to investigate signals. Chimera is then going to shoot uh, some gargoyles. Then we have everything else stayed still to take advantage of heavy weapons and all that good stuff and lethal hits and whatnot. And then he just moved a little bit to get his... Outside of even, nine, though, so they can't move D6 inches. I, I don't even want to shoot you so you don't get extra dudes in. But mainly so I can see the, the zone tropes, or I can see them with the 18 inches and, like, make indirect weapons better. Okay, so with that, there we have it. Well, the last cannons have but a single target. And I wish I had a command point to make it one AP worth. <laughs> it's worth it, all right? Okay, so here we go. Now they hit on fours with plus one to hit. Karma so will threes. reward me. Karma will reward me. Threes with lethal hits. Doesn't matter. The? Oh, sad. I told you. Needing threes. One at AP three. So I got a four, four up, up and vulnerable. Yep. yep. Last cannon time. Oh, sad. <laughs> <I'm thinking> sad. <laughs> Fine. Then we got the two rocket launchers. Do you see how I changed the name to rocket launcher, not missile launcher? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hitting on twos. Ah, one though. <laughs> they do reroll wounds against monsters though. And they're fives to wound. I'm assuming. I I don't know. I'll check. So I do need a five rerolling the wound roll. One at AP two. So three up with cover. Mm hmm. Ooh, very <laughs> nicely done. So this unit of guardsmen can only see the Norn uh, emissaries, so it's going to shoot everything. I've got a plasma gun that I will overcharge, <laughs> and I've got a couple of fair, guns. It's fair. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and the auto cannon. The auto cannon first, hitting on fours. Ooh, nice. Strength nine, though. So fives. Nothing. Looking the for plasma some. hits. Does nothing. Hazard. Hazardous. Hazardous. He's, He's alive! See, that's what I needed to wound. Six las guns. Ooh, two lethal. And three saves from las guns. Two up. Oh, ho, ho. He's fine. Oh, so close. Fine, the Vanquisher will try once again to shoot into your Norn emissary. He's protected by oh, plot armor. Is, the plot armor is great with this one. <laughs> Come on, you have one job to kill big things. Does he hit? He does. He with three. heavy. Yeah. Okay, okay. Does he wound? He does. It, I, I wish he had devastating wounds. He doesn't, though. No, no. And the AP on that would be? It's four. Four. So okay. three. Okay. Four up in bulk. Come on. I just need... It, and how, kill how much it. damage does it do? A minimum seven. Okay. <laughs> so I got to roll four up. <laughs> you do. No command points. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Yes! Oh, no. Pew! All right, does he, does he get Come back? Boom. Hold on. He still has another chance to kill that Bulgrin. Oh, no. Deadly no, divine. No, don't do it. D6 no. mortal wounds if he rolls a six. He'll oh. also do it to the hive guard, but yeah, it's yeah. totally worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I'm done. Well, this guy, it's nice play. Yeah, nice play again. I, I got my singular purpose. <laughs> Mic drop. Bye. Bye, Bye. Matthew. Bye. Okay, so okay. after a moment, because Matthew needed a moment. <laughs> okay. D6 mortal wounds to my hive guard. <laughs> yep. You know what? Worth it. One of them dies, another one oh, gets hurt. My I, don't, goodness. I don't care. That was really funny. Well, ah. you killed the Bulgrin. did it. And it was the actual Norn emissary That's right. that killed the Bulgrin. That's right. How dare you? How dare you? Well, the, the Vanquisher actually killed something. Oh, did it. It's very you got your You got your objective, too. I did. I was a big game hunter, and I did it with the big game tank killer, which is cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. They're going to do Flamer here. And can you heal the Turbogon? No. Okay, and then the Hunter Killer. He has minus it. one damage from yeah. the enhancement that I got. The get. Hunter Killer will go into the Turbogon. So I'll do the Flamer into the Turbogans. Six hits. String five. So threes. These are AP one, ignore cover. Six up. So one dies. One. Hunter killer missile. Missed. So my mortar drill sergeant is going to fire all the mortars into them again. Okay. There's only nine of them, so you only get the plus one to each. Correct. Which is fine. That's why I'm shooting them first. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. 12. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's good. Uh, so mortars into them, hitting. So fives hit, but they also they also wound. Or, or, or automatically. Hit. Wow. <laughs> They're battle shots. I think I they, think your dice have said uh, Scary. It's game over. <laughs> Why are we still playing? What are you talking about? I killed the Norn emissary. I had one of those gambits. It just said Norn emissary had to kill its target. There you go. Worth seventy five thousand victory points. <laughs> Well, you know, it was a cool idea and concept. Uh, yeah, yeah. So far, it hasn't worked yet. It will, I hope. The Executioner, the Eradicator, sorry, is going to shoot into your Zone Thropes. The Heavy Bolter's into the Zone Thropes first. Uh, actually, what's, how, much, how many wounds on the Zone Throat? That's what I'm checking for you. Three wounds, toughness five, okay. four up in Vong. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Exterminator Auto Cannon first. So hitting on fours. I think it is not heavy. Let me just check that. Uh, twinling on threes. And uh, it is twinling. Now these are AP one. It doesn't matter, I got a four pinball. And uh, three damage each. So, two die. Okay, not bad. Then three sets of heavy bolters. Lethal hit, which I totally forgot about. And sustained, because it's a heavy bolter. Uh, toughness five on Zoe's. So fours. So that would be four saves at two damage each. Four pinballs. So that kills another one. Okay. Well, I think it's eradicate. Uh, is it eradicate? No, let's do this guy first. I've got a heavy flamer, a multi laser, a stubber, and potentially some las guns. So the las gun array gets to shoot fours to hit. Ooh, that's not Humans, bad. So no lethal. And then fours to wound. So that'd be five saves. Uh, I guess I have cover, so five up. Hmm. So four of them die. Oh wait, I've got a, yeah, I've got a five up involved. I don't roll any fives, because yep. I'm in Synapse. You are. So, where are you looking at five up involves? Oh. The Hunter Killer Missile, by the way, is going into your Hive Guard, because might as well. Why not? I'll just do that now. It hits, it wounds at AP three. Not and saved. And it does six damage. All right, that kills one. Blah. Paste it. Stubber. Fours. Ooh. No lethal. Needing threes. So that'd be four more just from the stubber. Five up and vulnerable. So three, three more, more die. Down. Got one more gargoyle to kill. Okay. But this has so many guns. I love it. Uh, the multi laser. Actually, let's do the heavy flamer first. Two hits. Two saves at minus one. Ignore cover. So five up and vul. Yep. Dead. Okay. And I get a pain token. Just, yeah, wait, wait. You know what? Sure. You know what? Sure. Sure. I can't use it, but yeah. I'll get one. And he's only a four up, so the five up in bomb as well. Yep. He takes a wound. One damage. And then the multi laser. Two hits. And what's his tough? Oh, toughness three still. He's still on toughness three. One save. One save. No AP. Four up. He's fine. Fine. So now the basilisk is going to take a pot shot over yeah, it's here. It's worth like five victory points for me to stick sit on that objective. It is. I'm going to try and stop that from happening. So needing D6 plus three. Oh, only four shots. You could do it. Uh, needing fours to hit because of plus one, minus one, one lethal. And needing threes. Yeah, toughness five. So that's three at AP two. I'm just looking at my five of invulns. How much damage each? These are two each. So if I fail all three, I'm dead. Mm-hmm. I'm dead. And I do get him. Boop. Good job, Basilisk. And now he's slow, because he's infantry, right? No, he's uh, not. Yeah, he's very slow. <laughs> His <laughs> movement is... He's so slow. Well, actually, for a, for a moment, he was very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Look at his arm go! That's so fast! Oh, no, it's over there! No, it's, now it's moving Now it's scoring slowly. that objective. <laughs> okay, so I have one more thing to shoot, and that's my Lehman Russ Eradicator. He gets one shot. Yeah, but you're you're, it's you're going thinning. To shoot. You're thinning the herd. That's I sure. definitely, I definitely am. That, I putting enough pressure on there, like, and so now he's going to just make sure he shoots everything at the hive guard. Yeah. So the Eradicator Cannon has D six, sorry, D three plus six shots. So that would be eight shots. It is not heavy, so it just hits on fours, but it is lethal. Ooh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Strength seven. So fours to wound. Fours. Ah, oh, so they are minus one, but they ignore cover as well, and they're two damage each. Was it three of them or two of them? Three of them. So I'm um, four up saves. Nice. That'll Jeez, kill my me. dice are done. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like, he's like, Matthew, you already won. That'll kill one and, and put two wounds on another. Yeah. Nicely like done. That. Now we've got the heavy bolters. He still has life in him yet. Oh, he's not dead. 
You know, are these oh, all minus he's one? Bracketed. To hit? Yeah, 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 these yeah, are all yeah. minus one. To hit. Yeah, they're rolled... all sixes you got last time anyway, so it didn't matter. Uh, so two hits from the heavy bolters, and one save at minus one does not ignore cover for the heavy so bolter. So three up, I guess. Good. Yeah, I saved it. And then the hunter killer missile, because I still have one left. He hits. He wounds at AP three. So five up, invulnerable save then. Hey, oh, my thing worked. It's nicely done. It worked. And that is my turn. I will be getting points for Bring It Down, killing the Nor Norn Emissary that had more than 15 wounds. Yeah, 16. So that's five points that's for that. That's your full five points, right? Well, it's max of eight for Bring It Down. Oh, wow, okay. If you kill multiple big things. Okay, okay. Uh, so I did bring get five for that, and I got two points for Investigate Signals as these guardsmen have pressed buttons in a corner. What's the score? The score is currently 15 to 5. I haven't plus scored my, my primary. Two yet. primary points. Oh, you didn't take your two yet? No, so that's 17 to, five. to your 5, but you'll go up 7 points. So, so really, it's, be... like, it's equivalent to 17 to 12 mm -hmm. if I don't get any of my secondaries. So it's pretty close. It's very, very close. Pretty close. Yeah. With that, turn number two for the Nids. I drew Investigate Signals, which I'm probably going to ignore. Maybe, maybe. I guess I got some Termagants over here that can do some stuff. And I got No Prisoners. No Prisoners. Two victory points for every unit I kill, up to a maximum of five victory points. That's not, that's not, not bad. The, no, that Sentinel's I, probably going to die, and then you gotta the leave Eradicator's going to die. Gonna die. We're, good, we're good, we're good. You've, You've got, got, got some points there. So you got a command point, and is your supply line open? Four plus. Yay! It is this time. Oh, good, I got an extra command point. That's cool. I'm going to need that. Movement phase. So how we're going to come out, and we've already discussed this. I'm not sure if you're going to, but this this put them into uh, unless hold on. You know what? I'm going to keep them just outside of 24 inches. <laughs> you're not even going to give me the option. No, I'm I don't gonna... want you to do it. You could over. He can Overwatch on fours with those last mm -hmm. cannons because yep. because they're jerks. Yep. I yeah. am going to Overwatch though, but it's going to be with my Eradicator. One last shot. One last hurrah. <laughs> One last time. Since I still have the. <laughs> What? Da Donson Matthew, everybody! Yeah! Uh, and then, of course, I haven't moved, so lethal hits come Sure, into play. sure, take it. Eradicator cannon, 6 plus D3 for a second. <laughs> Needing sixes! <laughs> one. One at AP1, ignore cover. Why are you keep So, uh, four up save? Oh, he killed it! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Heavy bolters? Heavy bolters on sixes! One of them. One sustained. No, so just one at AP1. No ignore cover on this one. Yeah. So two more damage. Hooray! You good, did it. Good job. You feel good about now yourself? Now you're gonna die horribly. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Good. On the other side of the battlefield though. Zone throats are gonna pop their heads out so they can look at your tanks and stuff. Yep, makes sense. Pew! And pew, pew, pew. just so, in the command phase, I did give these two that they are in synapse for the rest of the, until my next command phase from the Neuro Tyrant. Yep. So just in case that comes up. So, like they have, for example. And over here, we'll just move these dudes. Okay, advancing the Termagants. Do you want, oh yeah, you can't overwatch. Nope. Um, I'm trying I don't to, have like any special stuff to overwatch I'm twice. I'm trying to I'm trying to think if I just want to kind of position them. No, 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 I want to get them out of the way of the Termagants so I can charge your Sentinel if I need to. Nice. They, they have assault weapons, so this is, yeah. So they're just gonna hop over here. We're gonna really camp this objective, try to hide as much as we can and then just finish off this little sentinel for some extra points. This has been a really fun game, Matthew. Yeah. Oh, I don't care what happens next. It's already been great. We've had an absolute blast just playing this game. Like 10th edition is really fun. You just have to be on the same page with the people who you play, basically. I agree. And nothing else is moving. No, so we're gonna go to shooting. So I'm gonna always start with the things that have no choice, right? Yep. So the Exocrine only has one target, which is your super injured Lemon. On the lemon other Rust. Yeah, yeah. So I get bought it, uh, bought it as is off the lot. That's right. And you don't even have to do the minus one damage thing because no. you're at two wounds. Yes. It's only one of these. I'll has either to get survive or I won't. It's just the whim of the dice. That's how it works. D6 plus three shots. So five shots. I already don't like the beginning of that. But mm. that's okay. I stood still, so I'm hitting on threes. Yep. Right? Right? Yes. Right? I'm yes. just trying to think if. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. We're good. Mm, mm. Two. Mm, okay. I don't like that. Don't mm -hmm. like that. So three hits. Yeah. Because they're hitting on threes. Wounding on fives. Wounding on fives. Dang, Nabbit. Oh, okay, but I got spicy. symbiotic tar targeting on it now from him, so I'm re rolling ones to hit. 
I guess I have to use those those hive guard. I was hoping to send them this way and start softening that up with the zone thropes, but I don't have much of a choice. Now I'm not so sure, because these are only minus one AP and you've got cover. I so do. I gotta get through a two up save. Yep. So before I do that, the zone thropes will fire here. Because if and somehow they get stupid lucky and yep. strip him of most of his wounds, I'll go that way instead. Okay, because that's D6 plus one damage on them, the like last guy. Yeah, they're, they're, they have a lance version basically, Neat. which is an anti-vehicle thing. So I will be, as soon as the zone thropes fire, I will be doing the minus one damage on that Lehman Russ. Yeah, so Bring me D6 down to plus one, it's D6. One, actually, I'm not going to do that. Want to save it? I am going to save it. I'm going to let you go ahead and shoot this Lehman Russ. Hmm. Even though he's done a lot of work. You know what? I'm going to use another strat because I want to show off. Yep. And the zone thropes will turn on that they have an aura of six inches, which will only affect them, of reroll ones to hit and wound against a target they can see within 24 inches. Nice. So, yeah. So you could still turn on your strat if you'd like. No, nope. no, no. I, I want to, I want, see, I want to keep the two CP so when you kill him, I can bring him back. Sure. Sure. Right? So then I can have like a unit potentially kind of behind any back. lines or get some points. That's you know six what I mean? victory points to get the back one, yeah. right? All right, threes to hit. Rerolling ones. Very nice. Strength 12. So threes uh, Threes, to I believe. Uh, let me just check. Threes yeah. to wound? Threes to wound. Strength 12. Reroll ones. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Not much. Okay, two, two of them. A minus three. three. So four ups with cover. Oh, good job, Russ. Those were, those were D6 damage each. Yeah. They could have brought it down mostly. That's, they could have. Okay, well, the Hive Guard have an obvious target then, even though I don't like the chances at this point. They're going to fire at your Lehman Russ that's at two wounds. Only one of these has to be successful. They are rerolling ones, though. Threes to hit, rerolling ones. Nice. Okay. And then their strength seven, so fives to wound, rerolling. No. Nothing. They're anti vehicle two. Oh, they're anti vehicle two plus. Oh, what yeah. Thinking? Oh, yeah. Re Twos to wound, rerolling nothing. However, if they were within range of the zone thropes, they'd get reroll once. No, it. only against. This oh, the, if they were shooting at the target. Yeah. Yes. So f we got four of them. You got to fail a single two up save. Well, <sighs> four two up saves. Fail one of them, and I get. The Eradicator says he lives. Oh no, you're doing one at a time. He lives. It's the worst. <laughs> I don't care if you make it or not. I hate watching one at a time. <laughs> it's a, is it just the stress? It's just, just do it. Do what you want. <laughs> one last one. Are you ready, Matthew? Yes, he lived. He lived. I think the reason it bothers me is because of the statistics. If you roll four dice, it's likely you get a one. But each time you don't roll a one. I'll roll him again. Each time you don't. He see, died. See, it worked. <laughs> each, time, each time you roll a die and knock at the two, knock at the one, it becomes less likely because now I know the future of it. Right, right so. that makes sense. It's like, it's the shadow field roller in me. Yeah. It's, yeah. More, it's for the audience. So All right, he, he survived. He survived. I'm so, so at happy best, I'm getting this. two victory points, and I better kill that little jerk. I'm going to fire all the termagants at him. <laughs> 20 shots coming your way. Hitting on four is lethal. Ooh, nice roll. a few lethal. It's five of them. Yeah. Hold on, we're not I'll done just yet. roll those yet. You oh, he's dead. Him. He dies. He's dead. Does he blow he up? Uh, you. Is he one mortal wound? He might. Yep, one mortal. He's also dead. Ah. And I will instantly spend the two CP. Bring him back. Put it in the strategic reserve. I still get the two command points. Or you, two You did. Points. You killed him. And if you need to kill again, you will kill something else again. But that brings me to zero command points. Is that it for your turn? That's it. I only get two points for no prisoners because you denied me. I did. You denied me. I feel denied. He, he overwatched as we stated. He did. <laughs> that, yeah, might have saved him. Yep. Might have saved him for all we know. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's okay. Um, so I get two points. I'm going to throw away investigate signals because I am not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to look for signals. Is there something over there? Who cares? There's like a million more gods. We got it. Biomass so is what you want. Gives me a command point, which I desperately love to have. So you're up to, to two, I two. I will go up to one. You will get two points. Bring your total up to 14 after your turn. <laughs> and this time, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to use my once per game insane bravery on him. Just so he can... Just so you don't have to roll battle shock to give me my five points on prime. And also, yeah, that's just it. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, true. Just once per game, so I don't even roll it. Yeah, no, nothing. no, that's the way. Because you have now. to do it now. You have to declare it before. Because you want that extra five victory points. Correct. So I'm going to make sure he doesn't fail his battle shock test and he stays right where he is. But it gives them a chance to then move in and you know potentially do something later as well. But with well, that, you might want to draw your cards. So let's yeah, go, let's we'll go to your see turn. what happens. Let's go is to it my? Is it still your turn technically? Technically. Okay. You just, you just did things way out of sequence there. <laughs> uh oh.
All these Battle Shock tokens go away. All the Dancing Matthews go back in the Dancing Matthews Hey, it was Matthews fun while it box. lasted, even if it didn't do much. It was really dangerous because you can't use command points. So if there was a way that you would have like shot and killed the Armored Sentinels while they were Battle Shocked, uh, you know, they can't come they back. Yeah, they like, come back. there's so many things that it's crazy, so. I get it. Do my supply lines hold to get an additional command point? They do again! <laughs> So I will be spending one to or insane bravery. I have received capture enemy outpost and overwhelming force. So I'm supposed to kill things that are on objectives. I've got an exocrine, a big brain bug, termagants, the turvagon. So there's a couple of different targets that I could potentially do. Let's see what we can do here. As for capture enemy outpost, I can't really. I'm, I don't have any deep strikers or anything to get there, really. Well, you got the your strategic reserve, dude. I have the sentinel, but he can't come within three inches of the objective set. Not right away. Yeah. Not right away, yeah, but he we'll can see. risk it later. Nah, Show yeah, up and get it later. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so with that, we're just going to go into the movement phase for the guard. Um, essentially, I'm going to stay still with him because I don't want you overwatching him. And then one last chance. Yeah, right? and then they're going to basically hop back in and then start moving up and putting some pressure on your home objective. The everything else has zone thropes, hive guard, and a bunch of these guys to kill. So let's see what we can do there. After the movement phase, I did bring in my little sentinel back. It's a new one. It's a new one. Yeah, it's just sitting right it's not here. Jim, it's uh, it's Greg. He's Greg. And uh, he's going to make sure that I point and spot on the termagants, so all my indirect fire ignores the penalty to hit and gets reroll ones to hit. But I still get the extra AP? You still get the armor, correct. I don't take that away. And just for fun, I am going to say this battle round and plus one to hit in melee. Excellent. Just so I can say I used everything. There you go. <laughs> uh, the little armor sentinels have moved up to get their frag rockets in range. The exterminator has moved up to exterminate. He has stayed still to be able to shoot the turvagon or the... Hive guard, I've stayed. I've stayed still with them. They, the big uh, platoon commander and his mortar teams of death, are just going to sit there. I've moved them up. The eradicator, still alive, has decided to stay <laughs> right there. They advanced up to just double hold the objective, and the chimera is starting to do a flanking maneuver around the trees. It seems like the guard are in a much better position on the battlefield now that they've been able to sever some of the synaptic link from the Tyranids on the planet. Multi-laser into the hive guard. Fours, two hits. Fives, nothing. Hubbard, two hits. Nothing. Lasgun array, it's six shots. That's half of them right there. Ooh, fancy. Sixes, nothing. The Eradicator is just gonna shoot. He's he has a quarry. He has a he has a he has to settle the quarry. I'm gonna make you work for this. Okay. Um, as I'm going to use the stratagem. Oh no, it's only when you shoot a synapse creature, not a creature in synapse. Never mind. Okay. I was gonna do the minus AP thing. But don't they but count as a synapse creature? No, they count as being in synapse. They don't count as a because synapse of the creature. neurotyrant giving it to them. But they're not okay. a synapse creature. Oh, okay. There's a difference. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do the Eradicator. D3 plus six. Eight shots. I didn't move, but I am hitting on fives, though. Because of the minus one? Sad. <laughs> Just one. One hit. I did wound, though. AP? AP one. Ignore cover. Saved. Oh, sad. And the heavy bolters. So hitting on fives. Two lethal and two sustained. Yeah. And then fives, that'd be three at AP one, not ignore cover. Three up. Hey, you killed him. No, you killed one and injured the next. Okay. It's got Almost dead. It's got two wins left. Ooh, yeah, oh. woo! Let's go. Okay, over here, auto cannon and everything, and overcharged plasma gun. Do the, just, plasma. Do the I'll plasma. I'll do the plasma gun first. I want him to die from plasma, and then I want you to die. That's a wound. <laughs> no, it isn't. Oh, come on. <laughs> sure, it's a wound. Yes, AP3. It was clearly. AP3, two damage. All right, well then, he's dead, but roll a one and you die. Oh, come on. He lived. You're not playing along here, Scary. <laughs> <laughs> Three last cannons into your zoanthropes. Sure. Okay, hitting on four. Nice, two hit this time. One wound. Four up in the vulnerable save. Oh, where? So, yeah, Seven he's dead. damage. He's dead. Ciao. The Vanquisher is going to shoot into your Turvagon. Okay, now I'm going to use the strat <gasps> to worsen your AP by one. Cool. Okay, last count of first. <laughs> Did you miss? I hit the hole again. Oh, stop hitting the hole. <laughs> uh, I missed. Okay, and then the Vanquisher cannon. Hits with the heavy. 
Wounds at AP4. So AP3. Mm -hmm. And cover. Yes. I've got a four up save. Ooh, fancy. Are you ready? Because yep. it doesn't ignore cover, right? No, it does not. All I right. wish. Oh, oh rejected. <sighs> Ooh. Rejected. I'm going to shoot it with the heavy flamer. Yeah, that's right. One. <laughs> Get that hole. I, you, you're fired, hole. <laughs> Well, the three mortars are going to try shoot into these gaunts. They each get plus four. Yep, all 20 are there. Oh, so that's 12. Oh, no, there's only 19 there. You killed one. <gasps> oh, it exploded. Yeah, that's right. No! <laughs> so I, yeah. Three left shots. So I get nine. So 3d6 plus nine. Not terrible. Oh, that's a... So fours to hit, and I'm ignoring the penalty. So, and rerolling ones. And fives automatically wound. Look at that. Rerolling ones. Nice. Oh, so many. You can't, you can't pick up all those dice? Uh, I know, I can't. They're too many. <laughs> nice. And one more. So that would be nine, nine wounds. wounds and no AP. Four up saves. You killed five of them. Nice. Kablam! That's pretty good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I'm okay with that. That means that there are now 14 remaining. The heavy armor sentinels are gonna roll fragmentation rockets into you. So these are 2d6 and then it's plus two. Two each. for each of them, yeah. yeah. So that'd be- 12 shots. 12. I did give them the plus one ballistic skill, so they'll be hitting on threes. With my orders. No re-rolls here. And threes to wound. So that would be- No AP more. though? No AP. So four up. Four up. You killed two more only. There you go. Bop, bop. The Earthshaker is going to go ahead and shoot into them as well. D6 plus 3 plus 2. two. Oh, Ooh, 11 a shots. Full shot compliment from them. Nice. Threes to hit because it's being spotted for. Reroll and ones. Rolling ones. So and one, two, two automatic in. wound. And then needing twos to wound. These are all AP2. Ooh, nice. That'd be nine in total. Not terrible. Go, 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 go. Six up saves? Yep. So you kill eight of them. Eight of them. And last but not least, the exterminator order cannon. The exterminator tank is going to try and take out the termagants with every shot he has at his disposal. Eight shots from the exterminator order cannon. Hitting on fours. Ooh, Ooh. nice roll. Winning on twos, twin linked. That is AP? six of them. AP one, I believe. Five up, they're all dead. They die! You got it. Three, I got them. Three victory points for killing the unit on an objective. Good job, exterminator. And then he's gonna charge wait, you! Wait, wait, wait. Overwatch. Oh, you are gonna overwatch. <laughs> Why not? I got <laughs> overwatch, let's go. Free shots. <laughs> and I'm gonna do their special lance shots. Okay. And I got nothing to help me with this, right? No, no, it's just sixes. Ha <laughs> <Ooh>, no! <laughs> Threes to wound! Yep. Oh, That's no. a wound, minus three. Oh, there we I'm go. gonna take the damage. D6 plus one damage. I'm gonna use my last command point to reroll <laughs> damage. Of course you are. Four, Four damage. Okay, it goes down to Was nine Was it worth remaining. two command points? No. <laughs> okay, over here. Charging in. That's You made charge. it. Rawr. And then, tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk -a -tuk. I'm going to tank shock you. <laughs> Rawr. So eight dice with a tank shock. Needing sixes, and by sixes I mean fives. <laughs> Five is the new sick. Wow. Well, we both love using our command points. <laughs> <laughs> Drink seven, I get one more dice. No, still nothing. Yeah, nothing. Six attacks in combat. You following my trap? I'm plus one to hit melee right now. Oh, I know you are. Threes, two saves on your zoanthropes. <laughs> failed them both. I'm still alive. <laughs> that, that, with any amount of mortal wounds from that tank shock, would have been amazing. Yep, but I'm going to hit you back, and I got plus one to hit. Uh-oh. Because of my current synaptic imperative, so you just fell into the one of the biggest blunders ever. <laughs> Headbutts. Headbutts. <laughs> so instead of uh, fives to hit their fours. Yep. Yeah, see? Lethal Look at that. There's no lethal. I have that rule. And six is the wound. Ah. Oh. Good job, I, Zonthropes. I tried. With that, end of my turn. I will score three points for overwhelming force, and I did not get capture enemy outpost, which becomes a command point for me at this oh, point. Oh, you're going to throw it away? Yes. Yeah, you this, don't want to go. Yeah, I guess you, I put your, you put your. I'm so back slow. There. I don't have any, like, deep strikers and stuff. And with that, it is the end of my turn.
Okay, well, I, I, I'm not doing great, but I'm not out yet, because uh, Scarry didn't do quite as well as I thought. I got Overwhelming Force for secondary mission, so kill, same as him, three victory points for each unit that I kill that's on an objective. And then I've got Bring It Down, so kill monsters or vehicles. So in my command phase, I will get a command point on a four plus, because I'm still sitting on my objective at the back. Good. Nice. I got my two command points now. I get an additional one as well, so I am at two command points. Yeah, well, we, yeah, and we get the other one too. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just make sure the exocrine's always, I'm going to keep handing the thing out. All I got left is four units. Two zone thropes, exocrine, narrow tyrant, and the turbogon. But the fact that your Lehman Russ is still alive is now a boon for me for bring it down because it's also sitting on an objective which means if I kill that Lehman Russ... It's quite a few points. That's eight points. And then if I also kill this guy, which I do have plus one to hit in close combat, then that's another number of points as well. Because I'm getting seven points for my secondaries at this moment. For primaries. Primaries. So of course, what I meant by secondaries, I meant primaries. You're winning on the primary game. And the moral, so and the moral victory. Yeah, and the moral, of course, you have I already the moral, got the moral victory. victory. Yeah. Your Norn Emissary did kill the Bulgrin. So, so this is pretty straightforward. Are you ready for my turn? Yep. It's a big turn. So we're going to just pop over here. And then the Exocrine's gonna stay still, as will the Neuro Tyrant, kind of. I'm, I'm considering having the Hive Guard, or the Zone Thropes, because I won't be able to consolidate back on that objective. So I almost want them to fall back, spend a command point, and still be able to shoot. And I don't think I'm within range of that objective, though. I am not, so. Might be worth it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I think I'm going to do that anyways. So I'm going to head towards the objective. Yep. And then fall back and shoot. Yeah. I'm going to spend a command point for fall back and shoot because I don't really have much use for my command points this turn. So yeah, that's what we're doing. But I'm going to roll an advance for the neuro tyrant. If I roll a six, it'll get him just within 24 inches of your leaming rust, which means I can do my other stratagem to turn on an aura of reroll ones to hit and wound to help the exocrine. But I got to roll a six. I don't. So. Well, but we'll still pop up. No, I can't shoot, so there's no point in popping him out. So this is going to stay back there, where he was. Okay, here's the money. This t if this shot doesn't work, I could probably concede, because I won't <laughs> be able to get enough points, and then it'll just spiral out of control. So we're going to make it nice and simple. No command points to help me out. You oh, no, I do left. have one. I do yeah, have one. have one left. I do have one. Exocrine is going to fire at your Lehman Russ. Uh, the good old Eradicator that has been an absolute... Yes, yeah. this game. It has, it has. It has been really good. It's been your Norn Emissary, basically. It has been. So D6 plus three shots. Okay, Ooh. no need to reroll that. That's Decent eight, amount of shots eight here. Eight shots right there. We're hitting on threes because I stood still. No rerolls. Okay, that's not horrible. We're looking for fives to wound, though. Mm -hmm. And you'll get a four up save against these. So I'd like to get at least two so the math is in my favor. The math is not in my favor, and because this is really the game-winning thing, I have to use a command point here. Of course. And it does nothing. That's does nothing. last command Four up. So basically, we got a 50-50 do I give up right now. 50-50 <laughs> shot. Will, will, one, two, or three, I will keep playing. Will the Eradicator eradicate your shot at winning this game? Oh, God. <laughs> 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 My father of five and I, I, <laughs> you I cringed. found that too much. You cringed. <laughs> ha! Oh no, hey, I missed, I missed it the cable. Cable. It's an instant fail, automatic <laughs> fail. <laughs> okay, round two. Woo! Oh! Oh, are you gonna command point reroll? You no. know it's for the game. You no. gotta do it. No, no, no. No, do it. I, I feel like you're giving it to me if you don't. I, I wanted to bring back anyway. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you actually have a strategy, I have a. If because if you kill the sentinel, I want to bring him back again. And <laughs> right? oh, you know what? Yeah, you know I mean, okay. like I've got a plan. For Sounds it. like a strategy. Yeah. All right, yeah. So roll a six and blow up, will you? No. no okay. He does not. He blow just up. whimpers. Ah, uh, sad. He get lost. He did get lost. Die. Two zone throws are gonna get me some more points by somehow chunking through nine wounds of a Lehman Russ. They can do it. He could. All right, here we go. Blam, blam, threes. Yeah, they're not doing it. We're looking at threes to wound. Yeah. Okay, minus three, so five up. Okay, D6 damage. Plus one, right? Yeah, plus one. Yeah, Is so it? five, so yep. five. So you're down to four. Four wounds remaining. All right, all right. You kill him in Overwatch. And last but not least? Just in case I need to, and I'm gonna soften him up. Threes to hit. No, no lethal. <laughs> yeah, that's sustained hits and lethal. Uh, no, it's not. Fives to wound. Unless your toughness five. And toughness seven. Then it's fives to wound. So four wounds, no AP. Four wounds. Threes. One wound goes through. And, and then I'm six charging. remaining. Charge. Rawr. Okay. 
You ready for this? I am. I'm plus one. Are you plus one? To I hit, am Matthew? plus one to hit. For the 50th I time. I think I have almost used every single rule from Synaptic Nexus. I didn't manage to use every stratagem, and for that, I submit my resignation. <laughs> Scary now is one of the owners of Mini Wargaming. Oh, there you go. You have it in. I need that in writing, please. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to do the. You don't have a minus damage thing, right? Uh, yes, I do. But I'm. I do. On him? I do. Oh, okay. It's a one do. CP thing. Yeah, yeah. So um, in that case. Oh, crap. <laughs> but you want to bring him back. So I'm going to do the eight attacks that are sweeping that are two damage each. Are you going to do the minus one damage? No. Thing? Yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> no. I want you to kill him. Yeah, well, I'm going to. All right, I want to kill him. Okay, I'm glad we both agree. So these are twos to hit because of the plus one. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that. You didn't know, but now one you One know. extra hit. One, that's, that's, that's all I'm I need. I'm talking seven. That's fine. Four is to wound. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was that one extra hit. That What's the AP on these? Just one. Two damage each. So four up. Oh, I won't even. Oh, I take four damage. You're alive. Three damage? Oh, two, two damage. Two. I'm alive. You're alive. I have two left. I didn't do it. I'm going to kick you now. I should have striked and done the D6 damage one. <laughs> that all makes sense now. <laughs> Playing street rules. Minus one damage means I'm immune. Yeah, yeah. Zero damage. Four to hit. Ooh, with my little chainsword. Ah! One at minus one. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm fine. You have a two up safe? Yeah, of course <gasps> I do. How? I'm going to double check that. What? Yeah, he's got two up safe. Oh, 16 moons. Like Kite. Baby. Very, very powerful Kite. Have an Imperial Knight Titan, kind of. Okay, so with that. It is the end of your turn, Matthew. You kill the tank. So eight points. Yeah. Uh, seven points. Wow. <laughs> See the pettiness? <laughs> Bringing, so as it stands, as it stands, okay. I'm, as it stands, What's the, score? the What's folks the score? deserve to know. What's the score? The you scored three. 14 primary yeah. to my nine primary. You've scored 14 secondaries to my 18 secondaries. So it's pretty much tied. So you're at 28 to my 26. Oh, and look at that. We're out of time. No, 27. 27. I, and whoever's higher points, I guess, wins. <laughs> and that's when Matthew decided to declare victory. No. <laughs> yeah. Actually, at this point, I think I can give you the victory, right? Uh, well, let's see what I draw on my turn. And then we'll because the, the reason, here's the reason. You want another reason? Yeah, because you're not on Because I walked away from a So you'll only point. get two points. I only get so that'll flip it there, plus whatever cards I have. Yeah. So we'll see what if I If you draw, have a moral but... victory, you want to like, try to slag something I can go for. But uh, yeah. otherwise, we'll I'm see. actually... I want to... I wanna, yeah, we'll, we'll see, see what the cards are. We'll see what the cards are. All right, fine. Yeah, we'll come back. Fine. I got assassination, which I spent a command point to redraw into deploy teleport homers, and I got extend battle lines. So I will be getting at least eight points on secondaries this turn, which does very much help me solidify the victory in this game. And with that, because my cards are really good, we're gonna call it. Yeah, you're one point behind me before this turn, and you're gonna get seven primary, Plus and I'm gonna eight. get. You're gonna get seven primary. I'm only gonna get two, assuming you don't kill yep. both of these. And so that's already five, plus you're getting your eight, and I'll, I won't have anything left to score secondaries. So it was, it's close-ish. Close-ish game. I, to be honest, a couple of things, but let's hop into a post game, yeah. and we'll talk about it. Let's just talk. Don't forget that in the Mini Wargaming Vault, we have another battle report for you. This time, Luca brings the updated Death Guard, thanks to the balance date update. And I brought some Black Templars. So, Loyalist versus Traitor. Check it out, the link down below. Well, the post game. That was fun. Oh man, that was I could have been after turn two, I was I was honestly I was like, you know what? I'm done. That was a fun game. Let's go home. <laughs> because I got to do the fun stuff. Like, yeah, obviously and I knew and I think I at that point I already knew I was going to lose, even though there was a chance that I could get back with the perfect card. It was that one turn where you if you kill him and I don't get a seven Right, then you're like yeah. in the lead, you know, in terms of points, and it's might yeah. Be if hard I had killed the Lehman Rust one it. turn earlier, yeah, then because he did a lot of damage back, um, I think that would have been a big difference. So that was hard. The Exocrine did not perform. It, actually, I would say that the Hive Guard did not perform as well as I liked. They were a threat, but because of the table I built, I say I built, and I built this after I knew my list, so I knew I was a shooting list, and I put cover everywhere, right? So basically, whenever you were firing, you were firing into cover that the Hive Guard, while they are really cool anti-tank, that minus one AP against Lehman Russes really doesn't do anything. And so your, and then your ability to lower the damage by one is, is quite good. That's much better than mine 
which is lower is the AP. Uh, but still, the Norn Emissary rocked it, even though I don't know, I don't even think that he helped me win the game hardly at all. He killed some Bulgrins, but he did what he was meant to do. He soaked up quite a bit of firepower for he the did. first couple of turns. He did, and if that had then spiraled into some other stuff, like the Zone Throps, I failed their saves very quickly, yep. so they died much faster than they normally would. The Exocrine fired to no effect, pretty much, for a couple of turns before he finally finished off your Lehman Russ. And, um... And, because the, the Zone Throps got that one good volley against that group of ten, but that's it, really. That's all they did. And the Termagants helped to kill a Sentinel. And, and hold an objective for a little bit. So overall, the, most of my army did not actually perform, which is funny because I actually have this feeling right now that I did very like well thematically because of the Norn Emissary, and that's how I like to play anyways. Yeah, thematically it was, it was really cool. It was like we held the line, we sent the Bulgrin up to kind of clog up the works, we went up the flank with like a little detachment and had like the Scout Sentinel kind of probing the enemy defenses in this one area, and then over like the shooting yeah, of the and guard kind of took over. Rig. So I, I, here's a question for you, Scar. Yeah. What on earth would those Bulgrin have achieved? In order for the hive mind specifically <laughs> develop a Norn emissary that is designed to kill specifically them. So what I think would have happened in the story of our little backstory here, the which we're creating right now. Yeah. Uh, that Bulgrin unit in a previous battle beat the crap out of a Tyranid Prime. Right. And, and so, it went back and complained. And it went back <laughs> and had bad PTSD. <laughs> and so convinced the you picture like the Norton queen like bro my little sweet i know it's like i can't believe they did that and it's like the, the karen mom back at home that didn't hear the side of the story from the teachers and it's just like i can't believe they did that <laughs> <laughs> send it as a six in a drop pot and shoots it right down to this fight <laughs> that's right so that's that's the story i like to picture that now yeah that the yeah. Norton queen is just like this over overprotective mother I can't believe they did that. <laughs> so it, what's cool though is because um, because these are my first few games of the Tyranids, I'm just playing straight up games. But what I like to what I want to start doing, I did it once already and I loved it, is rolling battle scars before you actually start. And so when you do that, for example, that Bulgrin unit could have rolled a battle scar, and then no matter what you roll, it gives them like a backstory. So it's like because they have a battle scar, that means they've been in it, they've been in a fight, and. Um, and I just love adding that. So I really highly suggest that when you play your games, pick two or three of the most important units on both sides and roll battle scars for them. And uh, I think you'll you'll like you'll like what how it feels when you start to picture why it is that they have those. You can roll some enhancements as well, like crusade upgrades. But honestly, I found that the battle scars are what really lent the story more than any upgrades. So try that out. But I had I had a blast. I had a blast. I hope everybody watching this did as well. It was really fun, Matthew. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me once again and playing. It was nice to see your face on your own channel. Other than that, uh, make sure that if you want to come play a game with us here at Mini Wargaming, send a, uh, go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge and uh, get in touch and let us know. We want to, we'll play anything. Yeah, we'll play fun games. It'll be entertaining. We'll create a story together. Come play in one of our uh, campaigns that we're doing for you, the guests. Uh, as well as Matthew develops them and puts them out there and we play them. It's really, really fun. Thank you, Matthew. This was fun. Happy Wargaming, everybody. Happy Wargaming!